You got so many slogans, uh, old yeah. boy, uh, ladies oh boy. and gentlemen. Yeah. Um, this is a product shizzle. Yeah, Jazzy Fizzle. From Jazzy Fizzle. Or J Jazzy Fenzel production. Fenzel, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like... It's all all, all of those. Where, where? Tell me the evolution of this. Where did all this come from, man? Um, You know, it, it started back from, you know, breakdancing. Okay. But we used to breakdance. Like, the DJs I rock with used to rock with, the, like, the old James Brown. Ah, Remember? Because, yeah. cause like... We go back to the because my DJs would always go back to the originators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it would be like funky drummer and all uh -huh. of that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd go back and listen to the records. Yeah, yeah. He said, "Man, listen to this. Listen to that." And he'd be like, "Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's Star Time. Ah. One of the most delightful of all time. Wow. Da -da -da. James Brown, the JBs, the JBs. Wow. And J James Brown was very intentional about who he was and how he was presented. Mm. And you could have your show." American Bandstand or whatever, and you say James Brown. Yeah, yeah. But after that, they would reintroduce. He had his own person introducing him. Wow. And and I was like, I'm going to be that guy right there. Wow. Because if I'm that guy right there, everybody's going to know who's presiding. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, it, and I think I really took it on. I, I, I grabbed it early, mm. but I took it on after I put out Show Enough. Okay. Okay. When I did Holes in the Club. Yeah, all right, well, come on now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't tag it. Oh. But everybody was running around Texas. Yeah. And we're everywhere yeah, talking yeah. about, I produced that record. I produced because they had a relationship with Tony Draper or yeah, yeah. or anything, just to, just to say. Wait, just to get some yeah, yeah, like yeah. credit and all that? No, just to work. Okay. Because it was the hottest record in the South. Right, right. It was a very pivotal record in yeah, the yeah, South. Yeah, yeah. It's like DJ SNS when it was like, we don't play the South set. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, uh, um, Kid Capri, mm. all of those guys, all the Clark Kent. Yeah, yeah. I, I say those New York names because those guys were the first guy. Biz Markey, mm. remember, they were the first guys that I saw really touring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Black DJs. Saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touring, right. Going everywhere and playing these records, and mm. they were, you know, what I'm saying, making, yeah. You know, they was making a different kind of splash. Yeah, yeah. What's crazy is, okay, I moved to Atlanta in 96, right? And, you know, being a college kid, going, you know, figuring it out, going to parties yeah. and figuring out the scene in the South, being from Philadelphia, all of a sudden I'm in Atlanta and the right. South got this whole music scene. There was two things that stuck out, stuck out to me musically. Mm -hmm. Master P, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And that show enough record <laughs> with Tila. Yeah. Bruh, do you know, did you know... Mm -hmm. How much you impacted the culture? <laughs> you know what? When that record was made, when I when I re when I made the record, the record was so crazy. Of course, we're from Memphis. Right. Me and Tila, A Ball, MJG were all from Memphis. Right. And and uh, um, T Money, which, which is uh, Tony Draper. Right. So, but Tony Draper was living in Houston, of course. Okay. And his operation was in Houston, so he was moving the Memphis boys over to Houston to work, and he had his studios there and his whole. Set up was there, so when I went and did the record with uh, Tila, we were we did it in Memphis, but it but of course the promotion and the street promotion that's when they had the whole ground patrol, everybody running right, around. Right, right, right. Yeah. The promotion was stronger in Houston. Ah. So the record really launched in Houston. Wow. And they was like, "Yo, Thursday we got a show, Wednesday we got a show, Friday we got a show, Sunday we got a show," and I was like, "Where?" All of the shows were in Texas. Wow. I was like, bro. <laughs> and then I found out that that's why all of the guys in Texas got so much money. Mm. Because <laughs> the show Texas gave. was very territorial. Right. Right. So we not it's not like Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Like if 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 uh two chains is over in, in uh, College Park, everybody going. No. Right. In Texas, only the College Park people are going to see him. Ah, uh, I got you. If yeah. you're coming from another side, they'd be like, oh, you must be performing or what you doing over here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I noticed that when I was out there. Yeah. I was like, oh. And I, and I calculated in my mind. I was like, oh, that's what it is. Wow.
That's why you can do a show. You can do a show every day of the week. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You're like a little whole Texas mini yeah, tour. Yeah, and once you make your little tour, yeah. and then you go down to Beaumont, then you go all these little surrounding cities, yeah. it's time to make another mixtape. Right. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. You feel me? Yeah, absolutely. That's money. Right. That's money. Right. Trend set up. Trend set up. Trend set up. Trend set up.